So this was the portfolio at the end of December, guys, right? Right there, 223K. We'll do an update tomorrow at the event. 233K now up $9,000 per person for the year. Remember, it's only two months. It's January and February. In addition to that, you can see some of the position on the $43,000 account. You can see the position on the $75,000 account. And you, if I scroll down here, you can see we're going to talk about stocks that I own. 275 shares of Palantir right here. And then on the next account, the $114,000 account, I have 447, uh, 447 shares of Palantir. So just on those retirement accounts, you can see I have about 600, 700 shares of Palantir, everybody. So this is a real case, again, of the person talking about the analysis, doing the analysis, it's trading and investing real money and putting his money where his mouth is using his own indicators, okay? So we'll do a um, balance review on the cryptos on all the percentage for the year tomorrow, 4 p.m. with the uh, mastery of the power indicator. Don't miss this event tomorrow. We'll send you an email. If you are on the power indicator database, the day trading zones database, or you are in our tech service, which is 954-758-8145, okay? So let's go, let's go deep. We have a lot of stuff to review, guys. The market is really interesting. So let's look by, let's start by a market review this morning, okay? So we start the day at the edges of the bond again. See this 111.16 on the ZN. I'm very, very, very cautious with this. Very, very cautious, right? So be very careful of this because my range is this. 108 on the bond, 111. So this is the shoulder range right there that I showed you last week, and I'll show it to you again, and that's ping pong. So I want to see this morning if the ES, the, the ESPY, sorry, see this shoulder, there's a little bit of a shoulder going on here between this 509.50 and this 506.50. I want to see how it behaves, right? <clears throat> we are regaining the sell-off of yesterday. We are breaking the channel, the down channel that started happening. I want to see at this shoulder level <clears throat> if they are going to sustain this 511. Because don't forget, tomorrow you have ADP and you have the unemployment report on uh, Friday. And in addition to that, you have Bitcoin that flirts, right, with its previous high right now, you know, this uh, 70, 69K. So it is possible that this is the formation of a head, shoulder, shoulder, although it looks very strong, you know, I, I, I would have preferred the market to stay below this white line of 508, you know, for the pullback. But this ADP report and unemployment report, right, can create a, a pullback. Now, if we have a pullback in the market, it's not a, a bear market. It's not a, a nothing. Look, there's a lot of money on the sideline. People want to buy this market. So what would be my target looking at the uh, probability power indicator? Buy on blue, sell on purple. So that would be here, right? Look, the selling on purple at 4, 514 all the way to the 504 helped you very much for the past two days, right? So this would be maybe a 590, 585 target on the SPY, 585, 590, if the market starts selling up. So I want to see this morning if they start kind of doubling top this 515, 510, 5, and kind of reject again the 511. This is going to be key now, the 511 and the 508. If you see the market repassing this 508. So long it's above 508, it's fairly bullish because it could go to the next calculator edge, which is right there, which is 532. I mean, like 532, 532 
literally on the SPY could happen if we break the edge of 515. But in case the ADP and the unemployment report spooks everybody and we recross the 508, you got to prepare for the test of 501, 485, and 490. And that would be a super healthy retracement for the entire market, by the way, right? So watch this. This is like the stock market recap for the week, guys. That would help you a lot, you know. Uh, I have my eyes on SPY. I have my eyes on the, uh, the bond, the 10 years, and, of course, an eye on um, the uh, VIX here and the dollar index, okay? So hopefully that helps everybody. Um, this is this is ADP. It's all on the ADP and the unemployment report now, right? Now, uh, if I put the dollar index, let's see. Let's look here, by the way. Let's go for two charts. My trading view stocks on me. Ah, hold on. Trading view charts are playing games on me. It has been doing that. I don't know if you guys had this issue lately. Let me see the task manager. That's where you know we are live. Let's reopen it. Something is locking on trading view. Good morning, Travis. Okay, so let's see if that trading view is coming back here. It seems like it's coming back slowly. Okay, let's go here. Pass the scanner here. And I want to show you something. Look at the market this morning. You look at the SPY again. And it looked like it was starting this double top, right? It looked like it was respecting the structure of the channel here, and then it cracks this morning, all right? So the key question we have to think, and I was telling you, is, is this a shoulder? And is this double top their head? And they are starting to form. And see, this lasted from February to about, about uh, 10 days. So are they going to play a shoulder for 10 days? But notice that if they crack, they go towards the 525 here. And I told you that the long-term calculator next target, if I compress the charts, is right there. It's at 535. So even though we still have 86% chance of success of a short, and a retracement, sell on purple, buy on blue, which helped us very, very much for the past two days because we went from the 515, sell on purple, all the way to the 504, which is 10 points. It's a beautiful move. And we did some beautiful trade, and I'll show it to you tomorrow at the 4 p.m. event on the mastery of the tool and the quarter million dollar portfolio review here. By the way, this is the update here of a couple of the accounts. You see that... Uh, we took uh, the screenshot uh, on the a day ago, two days ago. Where was that? On the 4th of March, right there. You can see bottom right, right, March 4th. So we'll go through all of this tomorrow at the 4 o'clock event. You don't want to miss this event because I've spent quite a, quite a bit of amount of time tomorrow on that tomorrow. Uh, how do you, how do I use the tools for swing trading day trading, and, um, and long-term investment. So I want to look at the DXY now, the DAO. 
because the dollar has not been easy to read here. Look, the dollar is kind of jerking on the blue zone, but if you look at the probability, it's kind of 50-50, uh, right? It's 50-50 to stay in the blue, like this, sideways. It's very, very tight, the dollar. Notice the dollar is at 1035, all the way to about 1045. So the dollar is not, is not breaking, like it's staying very, very neutral. Now, look at the VIX, especially this morning after the gap. It's crashing again. It went all the way to yesterday to the 15 area, and it's going back down again. And notice, if you put a trend line here on the VIX, that the VIX is very tight between this uh, 13 area and that 15 area. And this is really the range that we want to observe, this, this range around here, which is the middle really of the probability power boxes right there, right? So you have that range 15, 13 on the VIX and it's up and it's down and it's up and it's down. I would look very carefully on, on the next touch towards the light blue 1270. It is possible they go 13, 1270. And then they should hold this 1250, 1270 and, and, and pull back the market, okay? So hopefully this is helpful for the market review. 